Vancouver Island's coast showcases some of the world's most beautiful scenery. Between the island's east coast and the rest of Canada lies the Georgia Strait. Canada's largest shipping terminal lies within the strait in the city of Burnaby, British Columbia. West Ridge Marine Terminal currently loads 40 million gallons of oil on two tankers every week. The tankers then depart through the northern and southern routes towards the Pacific. A proposed pipeline expansion means an increase in oil tanker traffic, which also means an increase in the risks of an oil spill along the Georgia Strait, an accident that would have long-lasting and in some cases potentially irreversible effects on the environment. Steve Gormican is the Chair of Environmental Technology at the School of Arts and Science at Camosun College. He explains the immediate effects and dangers an oil spill would have on our coastal wildlife. A lot of the intertidal organisms, so things that are living where the tide goes up and down along shorelines, they tend to get oiled fairly quickly uh, and uh, they will, they'll end up probably dying off almost instantaneously. So things like, like clams, uh, sea stars, uh, mussels, that sort of thing. The, the Exxon Valdez uh, spill that was done, probably. they're finding now, you know, 20 years later or so, that those, the mussels have had a real hard time coming back. And mussels can often be harvested by First Nations or, or anybody um, for food sources. So that's, that's a bit perturbing that that particular component of the environment hasn't come back because that can have wider implications for the whole environment too. The other thing that really happens is birds and uh, sea mammals like otters and uh, seals get oiled and then that ruins their ability to uh, temperature regulate. So they need to have a, a, a layer of air between their, their body and their feathers or fur, whatever they have. And if the oil gets in there, that will um, not allow them to regulate their temperature anymore until they die of hypothermia quite quickly. The Exxon Valdez spill is one of the largest human disasters in recent history and was the largest spill to ever occur in U.S. waters until 2010. The spill eventually covered 21,000 kilometers of coastline and 28,000 square kilometers of ocean. Additionally, the costs to clean up the disaster were reported to have cost $2.1 billion. The two tankers that pass weekly through the strait each carry three times as much oil as was spilled by the Valdez. A large-scale spill could endanger hundreds of miles of coastline. The winter months would be worse because we get, tend to get um, winds from the southeast predominantly, so that would blow any spill up the strait and it would end up going up towards Campbell River where it starts to narrow and it would end up hitting a lot of beaches, a lot of, a lot of prime recreational areas, but also along Bain Sound, just south of Campbell River, is the biggest oyster growing um, portion of BC. Uh, oysters are actively, and clams are actively cultured on the beaches there, so if those got oiled, that industry would be going down and that's at least a hundred million dollar industry a year. Um, well, for instance, in the Exxon uh, Valdez one, you know, 20 odd years ago, they're still finding that uh, some of the bird populations really suffered because their food sources all died. So they, they live on plankton, and if the plankton gets affected immediately, um, the birds will be without food, and so they could end up not being able to feed the young ones of that season, and so they'll, they'll lose a whole reproductive year, and that can, that can put a population that's on the brink of, of of going down if you want extinction, you can push them right over the edge. 